In Kyoto, around the time of the Muromachi Shogunate, there was an area at the southern tip of the Boso Peninsula known as Awa, where lived two families, the Satomi and the Anzai. The house of Satomi was in a state of near starvation and called upon the house of Anzai for help. Instead of helping, Lord Kagetsura Anzai sent 2,000 troops to attack the Satomi. The Anzai were aided by some strange, devilish power. And in the end, after many fruitless attempts at counterattack, there was nothing the Satomi could do but barricade themselves in at the Kita Castle. and countless numbers had already died of starvation. The entire clan was on the brink of death. It's actually been 16 years since my father died. Really? It's been that long. Hmm. Achiro really helped us out. It was because of his efforts that we made it this far. Daisuke, you must come back alive. Yes, I will bring you the head of the Kegetsura without fail. That's not what I mean. I should have married you to Fusei by now. Yasuke and Yoshinari may not come back alive. They exchanged farewell cups of water.
Yoshinari, I want the Lord's taken last. Understand? Yes, sir. Daisuke, I am counting on you to back up Yoshinari. Yes, sir. If we fail, we are doomed. The surprise attack must succeed. But I promise you I will have Kegasura's head, even if I must die for it. Please return safely. If it is my fate not to return, you must somehow find a way to do whatever is best for the Satomi clan. without farmers and samurai going hungry and killing each other. I think it would be wonderful if Awa could become such a utopia. Would that be so strange? I want to help somehow. I am very sorry, Father, to have fled so shamelessly. It doesn't matter now. The last desperate attack had ended in dismal failure. Now the only alternatives available to the Satomi clan were to surrender to the Anzai or to end it all themselves. Oh, Yatsu Fusa. Yatsu Fusa. Perhaps you would like to try to help save the house of Satomi. Though he could not possibly have imagined the consequences, Yoshizane Satomi was about to say something in the face of certain death that would prove irreversible. that was not of this world. Perhaps Kagetsura was using some kind of black magic. The last thing I saw was Daisuke, all alone and standing tall. Shortly after that, I heard him scream.
Banzai's head. <laughs> you saved us, Yatsufusa. Well done there, old boy. Without their lord, Kagatsura Anzai, the Anzai troops would be easily defeated now that the tables had been turned on them. Bolstered by this turn of events in favor of the Satomi, the people of Awa, along with Yoshizane's troops, took up arms and went out to fight. The leaderless Anzai troops scattered like rats over the countryside. After Tatayama Castle was taken over by the Satomi, Yoshizane's eldest son, Yoshinari, was declared the castle's new lord. The heroic Yatsufusa was given the royal treatment at Takita Castle and could always be found close by the side of the grieving Princess Fusei. Father! He simply won't eat a thing. We feed him exactly the same food that we ourselves eat. I even hired an attendant just for him. So what else does he expect from us, hmm? <gasps> What are you doing, Yatsufusa? Please stop this, Yatsufusa! Yatsufusa! Stop it! You dare to rebel against the fact that you're a mere beast! Please don't! Father! Isn't it so trivial for you to break your word? Yatsufusa, how would you like to try and help out the house of Satomi? <coughs> Kagetsuru Anzai, you bastard! Yatsufusa, if you bring me Kagetsura's head, I'll feed you as much as you can eat. Okay then, I'll give you your own territory. <laughs> no good, eh? Well, how about I give you Princess Fusei's hand in marriage? How could you make such a brazen promise? I only said it in jest, because he's just a stupid beast and couldn't possibly have understood my words. In any case, a promise is a promise. What do you mean? Despite the protestations of her father, Yoshizane, and mother, Isanako, the princess remained steadfast. Father, if you would return evil for Yatsufusa's good deed, what distinguishes you from one such as Kagetsura Anzai? <gasps> Father, Mother, please consider me as you would someone already deceased. When you were very young, you once suffered from a severe illness. We summoned a healer who gave me these prayer beads to pray for you with. <gasps> How did these characters suddenly appear? Yatsufusa, as was promised to you, I've become your wife, even though it was only to be a marriage of the heart. And away into the sacred Tomi Mountains they went, a marriage of human and beast embarking on a strange new life together. The days and months went by until nearly a year had passed. Yetsufusa, don't you dare come in here! If you come one step closer, I'll kill myself! Huh? 
conceived Yatsufusa's offspring. There is your own cursed brood of half-breed mongrel. Now you will descend into hell! Kanamari Daisuke Takanori barely managed to escape death, and had now made his way into the Tomi Mountains. Having failed in his task, he had no desire to return to his position in the Satomi clan. But after getting wind of the Princess Fuse's marriage to Yatsufusa, he had immediately set off after them. on the Satomi clan. You must somehow break the curse. Daisuke, 
journey to change destiny awaits you. So let us travel together. After that, Daisuke disappeared from Awa. To soothe the spirit of Princess Fuse, it is said that he became a monk and took the name of Chudai. But the nature of the eight beads that flew to the four winds was still a mystery. We made it. They were eight dog warriors caught up in some strange twisted fate. Their kaleidoscope of unfortunate destiny just beginning to turn. Tchau,
September in the year 1458, at a shrine in Otsuka in the province of Musashi, there was a girl who would come to pray every day. Please, I pray that you would bless me with a child. Bansaku Inuzuka. Soon thereafter, her prayer was answered with the birth of a son. They named him Shino. Shino Inuzuka. This was one year after the princess Fuse had died. battle with the Kamakuras? That's right. <laughs> well, we've been stripped of our rank, though. Uh, I'd like to ask you something. My name is Hamaji, and I'm the daughter of the village chief in Otsuka, but... But what? It came to my knowledge that I'm actually an adopted child from the house of one of the Nerima elders. Is that so? Just after I found out, I heard a rumor that the Nerima clan had been wiped out in the recent battle. Well, well, that's a sad story. And you want information on your real parents. Now, isn't that right? Wait! I'm first! Stop it! Boy, stand back! Kakuzo! 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 Looks like we're in luck, fellas. I can hardly wait. Uh, looks like she's well armed, doesn't it? Ooh, I'm scared. <laughs> 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 
So you're a boy after all. You folks must dress you up like a girl. <laughs> they say that a family that raises their son as a girl is protecting him from the wrath of the gods. It appears that your parents were rather naive. <laughs> Won't you please put your sword away, huh? I am still inexperienced and have yet to gain proper control. Please, stop! I've already witnessed your technique, and I want to fight you. Now! Wait! Wait just a moment, I... <laughs> Get near Hamaji. But, but why not? Gakuzo, I advise you to do as I say. But aren't they engaged to be married? Something better has come up for Hamaji. A Jindai. Lord Higami of the Jindai family said for sure that he would marry Hamaji. I see. You had to save Miss Hamaji. An unusual scenario for a first battle, wasn't it? Stop crying. I'm not crying. <laughs> of course I'm not trying to get anything just for myself. I want to present it to the Lord of Jindai. I won't sell it. Hmm. And after I've come all this way from the Lord of Jindai's castle? I will not sell the Murasami. Well, I... I already gave uh, my sister uh, and you the village, as well as my house in Otsuka. Beyond that, I have no further obligation to you. Why, you... That's enough uh, for today. Uh, yes, certainly. We shall call again. <laughs> I trust that you'll no longer be associating with Hamaji. I've had just about enough of your stubborn old man. As village chief, I am quite ashamed of him. I am Samajiro Oboshi. As my name implies, I can be quite a mean fellow. I am very pleased to meet you, little boy. Stay away from Hamaji now. What a disgrace I am. Son of a warrior. Prof 
forming like that. In front of Hamaji. In front of Shino. Fool. Ow! Humiliating. It's already been 40 odd years since then. After he was defeated by the Daikogi, and just before he died, Mochiuji Ashikaga presented the sword to the Inuzuka family. It was called Murasami. Sadamasa Uesugi, who betrayed Muchiuji and captured Kamakura, wanted this sword more than anything else in the world. Because, since the days of Genji, it has been the law that possesses this sword would be proven to be the ruler of Kanto. I heard that Jindai, Kiruku Higami, has some connection to Uesugi. But why would Uncle want to present the Mirasami to Jindai, Father? Who knows? That Bansaku, putting on such airs! <laughs> He's stubborn! And you can't approach such people head on, you know. The more you talk, the stiffer they get. He's certainly pompous for someone who just about got himself killed. Blast! Oh, how I'd like to see the bastard weep! What a novel idea. Why don't we make him cry, then, and plead with us to be allowed to make a present of the sword, then? How can you do that? <laughs> I have an idea! <laughs> the sword's proper owner is Nariyuji, the younger brother of Prince Shino and Prince Yasuo, and the youngest son of Lord Mochiyuji Hashikaga. It belongs to no one else. Lord Mochiyuji Hashikaga, the Kamakura Shogun, started a feud with the Maramachi Shogunate in Kyoto. He lost, however, and died by committing harakiri at Hokoku Temple. Tomoyuki took Lord Mochiyuji's orphan sons, the princes Shuno and Yasuo, into battle as the new figureheads. Our family, the Inazukas, whose patron was Lord Mochiyuji, also joined the battle. But we were betrayed by Lord Mochiyuji's former personal retainer, Murazani Uesugi. And Yuki's troops were defeated. The princesses Shuno and Yusuo were captured and were about to be beheaded. My father, Shosaku, gave me the Murasami to keep. Ha <laughs> ha 
<laughs> so you see, Shino, since the time of my father Shosaku, it has been the cherished task of our Inuzuka family to present the Murasami to Lord Ashikaga. And we must accomplish that at any cost. Biting Master Eboshi is just like biting the Lord of Jindai, you know. And don't think that offering up the life of one dog is going to be the end of it. But today just happens to be your lucky day, Bansaku. And you can thank the generous heart of our Master Eboshi here for making it so. Just think if it had been the Lord of Jindai. Oh, I shudder to think of it. But because it is our Master Eboshi, he has been gracious enough to let the matter pass. However, look at that injury. Think how he must be suffering. How can one who has been subjected to such misfortune be so generous in his compassion? So why don't you try and show the same kind of sincerity then? Talk all you want, but I will never give you the Marasami. Uh -huh. <gasps> Father! Hikiroku and his wife promised to allow Shino to present the Murasami to Nariyuji Ashikaga by himself. They also made a proclamation of his engagement to Hamaji in front of the rest of the village. All of this was made possible by the spectacular nature of Banzaku Inizuka's death. Shiro, I'm going to release you from your suffering. Shiro. Uh. Hikiroku and Kamazasa had the body placed in a coffin the very next day and carried to the family temple and were so hasty in ordering the burial that the villagers had little opportunity to grieve or cherish the memory of the deceased. June 18, 1477 49 days had passed. His petition having finally been granted, Shino Inuzuka, now to be known as Shino Moritaka Inuzuka, set off for Koga in the province of Shimosa. Shino! Uh, are you going to be leaving now? Mm-hmm. Your color is much better now. When you get to where you're going, you will have something to eat, won't you? I ate the rice balls that you made. <laughs> they were good. Sorry to trouble you for them. <laughs> Thanks to everyone, I'm feeling much better now. As I 
am to become your wife, it was only natural to do whatever I could for you. Uh, but I'm so glad I could see you. Well, you can see me anytime, can't you? Uh, when will you be returning? I'm going to Koga, so I think I should be back in about three or four days. Three or four days? Oh, I see. <laughs> Kill Shino, and bring me the Murasami. This sword, the Kiria Chimanji, is a treasured Otsuka family heirloom. I shall give it to you instead of a coming-of-age ceremony. Also, I will send you out a Susuke Yoshito Inokawa to re-establish the Inokawa family name. Huh? Or perhaps you would rather stay here and work for me the rest of your life. Gakuzo, that's a nice sword. Huh? Ugh. Shino, wait a moment! Will you stay in Koga? Please hurry back, won't you? I will, and please remember to give everyone my best. I will be your bride, Shino, even if it's in the next world. journey, haven't you? You are lucky. that I'm the same moron who was bitten by a dog. <laughs> Why, you... <laughs> Wasn't there some fool who died after falling for a silly trick? I think his name was Bunsuck. I shall let you enjoy your little endless journey, Master Shino. <laughs> <laughs> Mirasami! Well, I sure hope I'm going to be okay after almost losing to that... Show off. Grudge, but prepare to fight! I remember that sword. The Kiri Ichimanji. My aunt sent you, right? Ah! 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 
The Senju River, running through Toshima, was also known as the Raging River. In the midst of its violent currents, two dog warriors wrapped up in a strange fate faced each other in a meeting of destiny.
Everybody, we got something for you You might need an exorcism power Don't let nobody 